from North Carolina, Mr. Jackson, for five minutes. Madam Speaker, recruitment is down in the military. Fewer young people are joining, in part because unemployment is low and they have higher paying options elsewhere. I would love to show young people that the military is still a good option for them, as it was for me. But in order to do that, I need some help from my friends across the aisle. I need them to put the dog whistle down. Each year's class of new recruits to our military is now the most diverse in the history of our nation. And every time they blow the dog whistle against diversity, it's not just their political base that hears it. It's young people who are trying to decide whether to enlist in our all-volunteer force. And last week's debate over the defense bill featured a series of very clear dog whistles. There was one for gay people, and one for transgender people, and one for black people, and one for women. Don't remember? Well, they ran amendments on pride flags, on diversity programs, on books and libraries, on abortion. Those were all dog whistles for their base. Our generals asked for none of that. One of them even went so far as to say that the military's strength, quote, is not its diversity. Someone in this building explicitly defended white nationalism in our military. When it comes to recruitment, I assure you, that's not helping. Caring about the military means caring about the people who serve in it, not using them as a political punching bag. If you want to help solve the recruitment problem, the first thing you need to do is stop attacking the people we need to enlist. Thank you, Madam Speaker.